All right, so um, I've just been working on uh, some GUI stuff in Unity uh, 5 using that new Unity 4.6 or whatever it's called now um, uh, GUI setup, and uh, some things are different. So um, one thing that I was having trouble with was creating a UI that um, had tooltips. So I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. Loud. Um, so if I hover over this, I can show my toolkit on the side there. I want to do that for my entire menu, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so um, that was just an example of the tooltip. Uh, the main thing, you're going to need to set up your uh, GUI already. Um, I think the tooltip is kind of something you do towards the end. So um, having your menu panel all ready uh, to go with a bunch of buttons. These are all buttons here, um, each one. So I've labeled them so I can figure out what's, what's what. Um, each one of these is hooked into an action button on click. And these are kind of already set up to do that um, with the on click. Uh, but it was a little bit strange because they you, that was the only thing that was available. So um, the mouse overs and the mouse exits and things like that are a little bit hidden. So let's uh, look at one. So if we look at this instant button here, I still got my on click going to start instant action. Uh, so the menu part of the clicking is fine, uh, but when you mouse over, nothing happens, and I want to explain what instant action is. So um, how do you do this? Uh, first, you make sure you have a uh, tooltip text um, box somewhere. Uh, so I have this entire area here set up for tooltip uh, tool text, and I just have it blank. Um, and that way it's basically hidden. Uh, you don't have to worry about enabling and disabling it. So um, let's go back to our tooltip box. Um, okay, uh, our instant button bo uh, thing, uh, component. And uh, so you've got your on-click, um, and you kind of wish that would be mouse over or whatever. Um, so I started writing a on mouse over script and found that didn't work. Um, that was an old way of doing it and now Unity's created a cool event system um, that will make it work better. So if you go down, so select your button, scroll down, click add component and uh, this is what you want to find is here event trigger. So uh, you can find it just by typing event and that will bring up events in your search box. Um, click event trigger um, and then it gives you this box here, event trigger script, add new event type. So uh, once you do this, it's going to look just like this on click here. Um, and it gives you a bunch of different things. So there's all different events that the UI can react to, um, but you have to add them using the event trigger. So uh, for a, uh, a tooltip, you want the uh, pointer enter, um, but you can do all sorts of other things as well. So um, dragging, scrolling. Um, so those are all in here. Um, they're all hidden inside this event trigger. So you have to add these to your any component you want, a mouse over or a draggable element or whatever. Um, so once you add um, this pointer enter, uh, it gives you another box that looks sort of like the on click. Uh, and you click the plus sign and that will add a new event. Now, uh, the next step for me would have been to write another script to do the functionality, but the um, the new UI actually has a lot of things built into it that you can just um, you can you can create uh, the functionality without writing any scripts at all. So um, the cool way to do a tool tip here is um, in this box that's going to accept some sort of game object. Take your tool tip text, stick it there, and then um, in here, in the no function, go down to text, and there's a string text, and it gives you a block where you can write your text. Now, if you wanted to do this in a, some sort of dynamic way, um, where the text changes for some reason in the tooltip, uh, you could you could uh, write a script that will uh, fill this in. But uh, uh, for a quick and easy way, you can just do it right here. So instant action. So we can just type in whatever our instant action means, you know, so it's an action, um, uh, 
So I'll just add a little bit of tooltip text there. Okay, so um, that's all you need to do to make the tooltip work. Now if you play it, it pops up. So, and then the one thing that's a problem right now is when I unmouse over, it stays. My other one, when I unmouse over, it goes blank again. So uh, you have to add another event. So go back to your event trigger, add a new event, pointer exit, and then all I did was highlight your text. And just I added a space. I'm not sure you even need it. Um, but once you do that, now you have a, a enter and an exit. Okay, so you just add event, exit. Uh, it actually creates the same thing, so it uh, just copies it, uh, and then just get rid of the text. And then, when you press play, the thing goes blank. It's an action blank when you go off the answer. That's it. So that's a quick and easy way to add some uh, tooltip functionality and uh, um, simple directions to give your player an idea of what all your options are and things like that. So there's all sorts of places where you could use this functionality, probably even in the game uh, itself. Um, so I'll be looking to do that as well. Uh, but anyway, hope that's helpful for everyone who's using the new Unity GUI. Uh, and uh, I'm sure this was covered somewhere else in some other tutorial, but I thought I would toss it out there for folks who follow me on Twitter and stuff. All right, thanks a lot. Um,